Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. Let's talk about that scary, scary thing that comes up when you're missing media in Adobe Premiere Pro. The warning you get in Premiere Pro that shows you have missing media means the, miss the media is no longer located in the original place when it was brought into Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro doesn't know what you do on the desktop. So when you mess around behind Premiere Pro's back, it doesn't know where stuff is. It gets smart, but let's go make some, make a project, bring in some media, and then we'll change the location in two different ways. And I'll show you how it works. So this is the typical new import mode that we're going to use. Um, I created a folder here just to emulate what people, a lot of people do, which is put stuff on their desktop. Oh, please don't do that. That's, that's the number one problem that, that, the reason you have problems, you should have a dedicated location for all of your projects. And in there, you put projects and folders. I'll have a link into what every editor should do first. So let's go look at this nature folder. And I've got a bunch of media here and I'll select all of it. And I'll import that in. And when I do that, the media is still in the same location it's not inside Premiere Pro. Too many people think import means put inside. It's not, it just means link to it. So if you wanna see where these are, you can right click on something and reveal in Finder, or in my case, an Explorer, and there it is. It's in that folder called Nature. Now I wanna show you that you can reveal where this is. If you double click on the name, this is gonna temporarily open up the project panel very, very wide. And if you want, you can click in this little three line menu and go to metadata display, type the word path and turn on file path. Click OK. Now it puts it way over here on the right, but you can move it over here on the left. So I'll double click to go back and now I can see it's on my D drive in my video revealed folder. So I'm not guessing at where stuff is. It's right there. Is it there? Yes, when I double click on each one of these, they open up. Now I am using the new Essentials workspace that puts everything in one screen. You don't have to use it, I like it. So I'm gonna create a timeline just by dragging this down here. And now I've got a timeline of my clips. Oh, great. Let's go back to import, back up one level, and I'll bring in all of these photos just by selecting it. You can see it's checked and I'll import those. I wanna put these in a folder so while they're still selected, I'm going to drag them down here and call this photos. Yes, I wish the import mode would make a folder because dragging it from the desktop, which is not the best way to work, does actually remember the photos. I'm sure Adobe will get to that in the future. Um, so just to keep that in mind, let's go to let's go to the, uh, a folder, the same folder in a different location. So here's music. If I drag that in, it actually keeps it in the folder. So for music. It's not as critical to go through the import dialog import mode, but the import mode is really good for tapeless cameras, cameras that shoot like my uh, C100 that actually shoot with a folder and a bunch of stuff inside. It's better to bring it in that way. Okay, so all of this stuff is in the correct location. When I drag my, my photos in here, my photos are all showing up, everything's good. One little thing I'm going to do, I happen to have fill frame. I have Excalibur, so it fills that to frame for me nicely. And let's just grab some of this uh, music and drop it in. And I'm going to use my wonderful remix tool and trim that music, and it's going to remix it for me. So now I've got my trip. Here, I've got a bunch of mountains and then some old photos from Gross Morn in Newfoundland. If you ever get a, a chance to go to Gross Morn, it's uh, fjords. 
in Canada. Okay, so here everything is. It's uh, looking good. Everything is working well. And I don't get that red missing media folder. Why? Because Premiere Pro knows where everything is. So we're gonna do this two ways. The first way is I'm gonna rename the folder while this project is still open. Watch this. So watch the media here. I'm gonna go back up. Remember I named this desktop and I'll call this vacation. I'll hit enter. Let's go back. It's locating the media. It found the media. How did Premiere Pro do that? It did it because the project is here, the media is here, it's all in the same folder. This is another good reason to keep things in one project folder. If I'm being honest, well, the old Premiere Pro would break. In fact, the old Premiere Pro wouldn't even allow the desktop to allow you to change that because it would just cause an error and say that, that that folder is being used. But obviously it is being used, but Premiere Pro allows the desktop to change it. But even if you change it, Premiere Pro thinks, you know what, this was in one folder inside the project, let me have a look. And it looks and finds it. Okay, that's all well and good. So it found that. Now let's do this. So I've got another location here. Let me close that one. There's nothing in here, okay? So I'm gonna save this project. And I'm going to quit Premiere Pro. And I'm going to move the whole folder into a completely different, not just a different location, I'm gonna move it to a different disk. So I'm gonna, I use Terra Copy on Windows and I'm going to move it. I'm not going to copy it. I'm moving it. Oh, that was fast. It's now in a completely different location. I have two different drives in this uh, 7740 Dell Precision Workstation, which by the way, you can actually have four hard drives inside this thing, but I've got two. It was in my D drive because everything I do is on my D drive. All my projects, all my cache, everything in a fast SSD. Now, I wouldn't put this on my C drive in my videos folder, but I needed a completely separate location. So let's go back and open that Premiere Pro project with all the media in a completely different place that Premiere Pro has no idea where it is. It's still on my computer. It's still accessible, but where the heck is it? It's opening the project and I should get a dialog box. There we go. This is the way that Premiere Pro is supposed to work. It doesn't just fail. It's letting you know all of the links are, are not active because they're just links. The media was never in the program. So it's now missing. Now it's going to find relink others automatically if I go locate the other one. So I'm gonna click locate. And you can see at the top, the last path was this location. The new path is a completely different location. So I'm going to see, videos, my new location, and this button here, display only exact name matches. This is useful if you're pointing to a folder that has a lot of things. Maybe it has a hundred things in it. You don't want to have to find the right one. You know that's the right location. With this checkbox selected, it's not going to show you anything but that one thing. So right now it's looking for this, the, the music file. So I'm going to look for the music file. I'll leave that selected. If I don't, it's going to show me everything. So that's the file. Remember, I have this selected, relink others automatically, fingers crossed, click OK, and boom, there it is. If we go look for this, right click, reveal in Explorer or Finder, there it is. It's on my C drive because everything was moved. That's the answer every time you're missing your media. You move something, you rename something. Even if you add a space in something or just change a folder something, 
You're moving stuff. Don't move stuff. Just put everything in a project folder. Or in my example here, if I go show you where all my media is, because I use ArtGrid, if I go to footage, ArtGrid, every bit of media that I use is in this folder. It doesn't change any location. So if I'm going to my business uh, items here, then every single one of these clips is available. And for the Windows users, if you wonder what I'm using here, I'm using a uh, column view in a program called Files. I'll put that link in the description. And Quick Look, which I know you Mac users love. I used to love it when I was a Mac user. Uh, Quick Look, you can actually get as a free uh, third party tool, and Files is, is free. So it acts a lot like when I want to work in the Finder, hit spacebar and it previews my file. But that's not what this tutorial about is about. It's about missing media. Now, I have never had this problem. There could be one other reason why your, your media is missing. And I think this is fairly rare. And this has to do with codecs loading and or changing and or being different. And this is usually a problem when you're working with formats that are not um, your average formats, like phone formats, new phone formats, new media formats, um, all of this stock and anything that I record is in QuickTime and it just works every single time. So you might have issues with codecs. I don't wanna get into that. Um, I think you should just be working in known media, convert things, use handbrake and just convert it to, to MP4s if it's lower, uh, if, if you don't mind the compression or con convert it to QuickTime um, or something other than, than whatever weird format that you're using. So there you go. There is uh, how to get rid of that uh, nasty, you know, that red, I'll have a picture of it here that nasty warning when your media is missing. Keep everything in the same place. Hey, if you're new to video review and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. I'm Colin Smith and uh, it's my job to, I don't know, drag you kicking and screaming into organizing things in your computer so you're not going to miss any media.